Now until Thanksgiving, the calls for help just keep coming into our newsroom. And you know, for many families, SNAP benefit delays really have been having an impact on their ability to provide to provide just a basic meal. Eleven Alive's Liza Lucas has been investigating how Georgia got into the situation in the first place, and she joins us here with more. An increase in need, a shortage of workers, and a push for technology to fix the problem. The state points to all of this as they deal with delays. But as we mark one year since we first reported on these issues, we've also uncovered other reasons for the backup then and now. A safety net meant to ensure access to fresh, healthy food. But for some families this year, that safety net has felt anything but. I am so glad I did not go to the store and I called this time because I would have had a cart full of stuff and wouldn't have been able to pay for it. Tens of thousands of Georgians not getting SNAP benefits on time. I'm hoping that if I speak out, others will speak out. I have been and will probably have to go to a food bank. Claudine Ashley McCoy among those stuck. Her SNAP paperwork still pending. It feels like you are pretty much drowning and reaching out for help and the system is saying, oh no, you'll be fine. But Claudine says she's not fine. The holidays already hard and community resources spread thin. I know that we can't keep up with the request for food assistance. Jenny Jobson with Midtown Assistance Center says as soon as food comes in, it goes back out the door with food banks already strained. And when families miss SNAP benefits they depend on, there's a ripple effect. It affects all parts of your budget. So you are making choices between are you purchasing food or are you paying that necessary electric bill to keep your lights connected. Last Thanksgiving, we talked to families with the same issues. Since then, 11 Alive obtained internal documents, piecing together more of the problem. A November 2022 report attributes issues to the one time cash assistance program, which rolled out weeks before. The $350 cards, part of Governor Brian Kemp's plan to provide relief to vulnerable Georgians. The state got special permission to fast track fixes last Thanksgiving, but that just delayed efforts to process SNAP cases. Emails show that in part led to high caseloads again this past spring. Despite hiring overtime and other efforts, Georgia DHS continues to dig out of the backlog. And Claudine is just trying to stay afloat. With something as simple as not being able to make a meal, even with Thanksgiving, so many people are going to have sleep for dinner because that's the only meal that they'll be able to afford. We sent Georgia DHS multiple examples referencing the cash assistance program and security issues. DHS responding that the moving of renewals last fall is one of multiple factors that led to the backlog, but by no means the primary one. A spokesperson says the main driver of the workload issues is the increase in applications when kids go back to school each fall. We also reached out to Governor Kemp's office for a statement, his team referring us back to DHS. We've got much more of our coverage on the backlog online. You can find that and resources for families still waiting on 11alive.com.